thing to look on here is where the tubing is for the hydration to the water tower and it's right here here now you take your container and you find the same hole just here so you want to keep this flat on the on the table and be careful not to scratch unnecessarily scratch the sides this will fit basically you want to take the fat part and put it straight down into the middle and then let it rest line up the two holes for the hydration and now take your magnets do the front ones first doesn't really matter too much but it helps from this worse now it's it's held in place and you can let the bottom ones slide on and now you have a nest that's ready to be used uh, you just now need to finish up with some substrate um, you'll with your talus you'll receive substrate um, there's different options on the website for substrate you can do this the white rocks I like these the best because everything kind of stands out against them and then you can add some sand in here to fill in some of the holes in the rocks um, they're pretty heavy rocks I mean not a lot of ants are going to be able to move them my carpenter ant queen did uh, and able, was able to move them um, and then you also want to get familiar with your hydration first so you go ahead and fill up your water tower And this, uh, this one, you do need uh, some sort of syringe. We have plastic applicator tips, or you can use a metal syringe. Um, takes about two and a half syringes full to fill it up. There's your inner chamber. And there is your talus. Uh, if you ever, something else to note, if you ever want to look underneath to see if your water tower is full or not, you can. ready for ants. So basically you're just going to put your ants straight in here. You know, let a queen go out. Um, queen or small colony.